Dong. Dong. You dong the bell. You know, I wish I, I really wish I could open Discord without like causing the recording to go like and stopping. It's like even like in VBA, if I like do the uh, option of like emulator and make it so that like doesn't pause when I go to another window, the audio stops. So while the footage huh. doesn't, the audio stops and it's like. I might as well have the uh, pause so I don't accidentally like cause it to like not do it. And then in the sound thing, I don't see any options and like you know, I should just learn how to capture gameplay from a real Game Boy, I guess, because I own this game on a physical cartridge. Now, my 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 Game Boy Advance is uh. It's on my campus. I think I left it on campus. Uh, not on campus. In my apartment. By campus. Um, so next time I'm up there, I'm going to have to bring it. Because I, I think I forgot it. <laughs> Which is a shame, because if there were slow days at work, I'd love to just play some either Super Circuit or this at work. But I, I, yeah, exactly. Like, I don't know how hard it is to actually record a Game Boy Advance, like an OG one. I, I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, uh, hello gamer family. We're starting the second arc of this game. After driving Narshin away from Ostia, Roy and company brace themselves for further attacks and burn. However, Burn's villager movements towards Lycia come to an abrupt halt. As if to mock Roy and his caution. Burn also remains unresponsive to a treaty offer from Aturia. Burn's sudden silence and lack of activity could only be described as eerie. With Hector gone, Frey is now the greatest power in Lycia. Elwood summons the Council of Marquesses to Frey to discuss future actions. Now, YouTube, if you know anything about Fire Emblem games but don't know anything about this game, you're probably expecting that in the next couple of chapters, Elwood's gonna die. Wouldn't you say, Seth, if I were to tell you pretty much every single dad in Fire Emblem dies, you would think that Elwood's next, right? Right? I mean, I would think so. Well, we'll get into it. We'll find out by the end of this game. Spoiler Just alert. Spoiler? spoiler alert. Elwood is like the only dad that doesn't die in Fire Emblem. <laughs> Elwood doesn't die. In this game, he's he's very mediocre in Fire Emblem 7, so he's probably gonna die a ton in Fire Emblem 7 and give you multiple game overs. Uh, but maybe I'll talk about Fire Emblem 7 a bit in this video. Decide that Elwood is to lead the Council of the Lycian League. A new Lycian army is also to be established. This new army's purpose is not to take the offensive against Burn, but rather to take an offensive stance for Lycia. Owing to his victory against Burn and Ostia, Roy, the 15-year-old child, by the way, is chosen leader of this new army. Gradually, the attitude of morale in Lycia begins to improve. People once again conduct business without fear, and they embrace a new optimism. At this time, Atroria calls for Lycia's assistance. The kingdom needs help with restoring the law to the Western Isles. Many outlaws make their bases there, and anarchy is said to rule. Many in Lycia are uneager to send their troops to the Isles to deal with bandits, but having received Etruria's aid in Ossia, they have no choice but to oblige. Thus, Roy and Lycian army pass through Etruria toward the Isles. Thus beginning the second phase of this game. The Western Isles are the numerous islands off the west coast of Olympia. Crap, I forgot how to choose the A route. I forgot which one's the A route, which one's the B route. Fudge. <laughs> One second, YouTube. Because we're taking the A route. We're taking the A route because Gonzalez is better. <laughs> than the A route. That simple. Um. Okay, yeah, I just wanted to double check. It was the A route. Cool. Um. Left village? Left village? I want to say it's... Two villagers. Left Village! Uh, 
Oh, I can't remember what the village gives me. I'll figure that out, I guess. Off to the coast, uh, western coast of Alib. Presently, they are colonies of Etruria. Yeah, I guess they're colonies. What, what is this, America? The Western Isles are rich in resources, so mining is a major industry here. However, these resources are worth a fortune. Inevitably, varied bands of rogues traveled there hoping to loot the mines. As such, the people of the Western Isles live in constant fear of bandit attacks. Roy is sent to vanquish these bandits. As we'll soon learn, Etruria has some, uh, issues right now. Um, there is two recruitable units. Uh, you need no one to recruit Fur, then you need Fur to recruit Shin. I don't necessarily want to use Shin, or Sin, however it's pronounced, but the problem is, if I don't recruit him, and I somehow have to end up taking the, the Sakai route, not the Ilya route, I'm not going to get a good, good ending without hacking the game. Will I hack the game to get the good ending? Yes, yes I will. But do I want to do that? No, no I won't. What are you doing that for? <laughs> okay, you're actually allowed to take a lot of units this map. I guess I'll take a Stolfo. Maybe I can grind him up a little bit. I'll, I guess I might as well take Dorothy, because I don't really have much choice. I don't want to use Sue. I don't want to go the Sakai route. Now, she's thankfully only level one. So as long as her and Sin stay at base level, and I don't kill Taya, I am guaranteed the Ilya route. So, don't be stupid, and I get what I want. Oh, that's right. I can't sell Convoy. Item management isn't my favorite in this game, but it could be worse. Um, do I, do I want to promote people? Do I want to promote people? Not yet, I don't think. Let's give you bows. I'm gonna get a new archer next map, so me using Dorothy are, is really short-lived. What level is she for? Yeah, keep her out of danger. Um. Okay. Yeah. I believe it's. Yeah, it's Hero's Crest. I'll just have. No, I don't want him to sit on it because if he dies, I lose it. This isn't like later games where it goes to convoy. Again, probably level 15 promotions, what I'm looking at. Um. So yeah. Who is, who is your prediction for who's gonna like die in this one? No one, Seth. <laughs> I'm not gonna kill anyone. And I'm just gonna use Sue as a cell bot. So it says you're just gonna put all the things I'm gonna sell in her inventory. Um. That's all I'm gonna sell. I actually want to give the torch stave to uh, what's her face because it actually is a good source of XP. There. Now we have a little bit more. Can't remember how to get the silver card in this game. I guess I'll find out when I eventually get it. If I get it. I didn't mean to go to armory. Whoops. Transfer. I keep forgetting transfer is what it is in this game. Um. Okay, Noah is here. I don't think you... Can you put... Yes, you can. It's Thracia where you can't see the map in Fog of War. At all. He's a thief. I'll put him there because it'll give me a good... Yep, see, like that. That's another reason to bring him. What's um, your favorite map in this one? In this game? Yeah. I know for a fact it's during the Western Isles. Um.
This is up there for... Frankly, I actually really enjoy this map. Um... Give me some time. Boss, the Lycians are here! You say? Yo, yeah! We saw them docking a little island in the east. Good. They're probably fluttering you out in this thick fog. Sneak up from where they can't see and finish him. Sure thing, boss! Roy, I'm sorry that I couldn't stop this. This isn't your responsibility, General Cecilia. Don't concern yourself. Even in Etruria, people dislike how the High Chancellor treats the Lycians as pawns. High Chancellor? I thought the King made the decision to send us here. Actually, he didn't. High Chancellor Rortz works closely with Lord Accardo, the noble who heads the mining operations here in the Western Isles. They made the decision without consulting the king. They have that power? How? Did he hear the tragedy that occurred in Etruria last year? Of course. Prince Murden, next in line to be king, abruptly passed away last year. Yes, that's it. I never had the honor to make his acquaintance. I understand that he was a very bright individual. Yes. Were the prince alive, Atreya would surely not be in this sad shape. King Mordred was overcome with sorrow when his son departed. The shock was so great that he has yet to recover. Of late, it seems he's always detached from reality. He pays no mind to anything happening around him or in the kingdom. Rortz is exploiting the king's condition for his own benefit. Now he's essentially in charge of the goings-on in the palace. He keeps the three Aturian generals, Percival, Douglas, and myself, away from the king except in times of great urgency. What about when you came to our aid in Ostia? That was an exception because I had Percival behind me. I'm sorry, I didn't have the clout to prevent this. I don't blame you. We will return to Lycia as soon as we complete our mission our mission here. But please, I only ask that you take care of Lycia in our absence. You needn't ask. The Lycian League is in safe hands, as is Pris as is Princess Guinevere. Roy, may I not go with you? Battles on these islands are likely to be ugly. I can't predict what might happen. You should stay in hiding in Etruria with General Cecilia's protection. You can trust me, your highness. I know you want a truce to end this war. I will defend you no matter the cost. I understand. I'm truly sorry to trouble you. Roy, I pray for your safety, I guess. Thank you, your highness. I will pray for yours as well. So we got a lot to talk about that one too. I want to talk about Dad the Fire Emblem. I want to talk a bit about Fire Emblem 7, this game's prequel. And what's my favorite map in this game? What is my favorite map in this game? I don't know. This is actually an unpopular opinion, but I actually really like Chapter 24. I don't know if it's my favorite, but I actually... I think Chapter 24 is the... is, is a perfect example of how to do a penultimate chapter right. Is it, It's not hard. If you play the game properly, if you still have all your... Um, If you weren't careless and you still have all your dragon effective weapons, it's an easy, it's an easy map. But I don't necessarily think that's an issue, because again, if you have, if you save all your dragon killing weapons, you should be rewarded, and it rewards you by making it, you know, easy. And I don't necessarily think that's a bad thing. Do I wish it was maybe a little harder? Sure. But I, I don't like how ROM hacks like Project Ember, like, tried, like, making it super hard. I honestly kind of, 
I kind of see it as I kind of see it as being like the ending of the original Metroid 2 with having no enemies. It's kind of just a nice relaxing cool down right at the end of the game. Especially since the actual final map is pathetically easy. I, I just think it's a nice cool down. Is it my favorite map though? No. I don't think so. As, as much as I just complimented it. No. Um. Oh, there's actually a support. Maybe we'll have to do that. I don't know who voices those characters. If James what? isn't one of the voices, we'll actually do it. Okay. Oh, I'm vo I'm both characters. I guess we'll do it then. Um, first it should be around there. Okay, that'll be. Oh, I think you voiced her yesterday. Oh. Oh, fire! Sorry to call you in. What's going on? In here? What's going on out there? Oh, that's me. <laughs> the island is under attack by pirates. They've come to kill the people living here. What? I sent some guys over to try and stop them, but the pirates are very skilled. The outlook isn't good. I can't believe it. I'd like to find them myself. Oh, but I uh, can't leave this castle. It's a shame. Fair, I'm sorry. Can you go in my place? Yes, I will go and purge the people of these pirates. Yeah, thanks. Leave them to my blade. Anyone who attacks innocent villagers will get no mercy from me. I have someone you can work with too. You do? Yeah, he's a no man named Sin. He's a little skinny, but he's a decent shot with his bow. Are you Sin? Yes. I heard everything from Scott. Let's go. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. So, uh. What? Uh, are you here to protect the villagers like me? No. I have no interest in such things. Then why are you here? I'm paid to fight. That is all. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. I need to keep the conversation going. Uh, your friend's okay, right? Right. What brings you all the way out here? Nothing special. You to be you appear to be from Sakai yourself. As for me, I'm traveling around to leave to train myself and Oh, you didn't ask about me, did you? Dot 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 <sighs> Dot 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 I'm looking for someone. Oh My clan was crushed by burn when they invaded Sakai. Dot 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 a chieftain had me escape and told me to find and protect his granddaughter. I'm still in search of her. I see. Well, I hope you find her. Me too. How do you recruit oh, him? Oh look, my goodness. Sorry that I paused the game, YouTube. Um. Do I need what Surfart to recruit him? Oh. Sure. You need Sue to recruit him. I don't want to restart oh. the map, which means I need to get the Ilya route. <laughs> I need the Ilya route, or else uh, I'm gonna have to hack in a weapon. <laughs> Boss, are you sure? I mean, that girl won't have any chance. I know what I'm doing. Once she's killed, we can take the sword she's carrying. That sword, the weird one she has, is not just anywhere short, it's a wild doe, a famous blade from the east. It's worth a fortune. <laughs> oh, I get it now. That's why you're so hospitable to her. I couldn't do anything before, but now's our chance. I want you to follow her. 
Well, she's finished. Take the sword from her lifeless hands. Sure thing, boss. That's rude. This is one of the one of the maps I like more. That being said, as much as I really like this game, it really doesn't have any. It really doesn't have any S tier maps. I think this game. I think my way to describe this game is it doesn't have a lot of S tier maps, but I don't think it has a lot of F tiers either. I think the majority of the maps fit in A, B, and C tier, which is one of the things I really like about this game. Is there's to me at least nothing horrendous in this game. Is everything, like, amazing? No. No. Absolutely not. But I think it has a lot of good ones. I... I think I gotta go with my favorite actually being Chapter 7, though. Um... As hellish as Chapter 7 was when playing it on the channel, um, it, it, I, I think it's a very fun map. It's challenging. It's challenging, but not too challenging. If you approach it properly, you won't struggle. I, I just genuinely, I, I, I just genuinely think it's a good map. Um, oh. not the best map in the game or anything, but not like abysmal or anything either. It's good. Um, as for Fire Emblem Dads, I actually talked about this in an engage video. Um, the Fire Emblem parents just don't want to live. Um, quite literally, oh, the first me. Fire Emblem dad in the series to not die is Elwood. Because Elwood's the main character, well, one of the main characters of Fire Emblem 7, a prequel to this game. So this game released first. So when this game released, Elwood was a nobody. So it was Hector. Hector has since become one of the most popular Fire Emblem characters, and obviously, really, all he does in this game is, uh, die. That's all he does in this game. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, which also has made Lelina extremely popular. Even though she's really not important at all besides Chapter 8X, just due to the fact that she's Hector's daughter, she has become super popular, and it's very likely that in an FE6 remake, she's going to get an increased importance in the game. And probably be bumped for board status. Yeah, exactly. But we do have L L Lelina I do like. Uh, the main thing that hampers her is how late you get her and that she still kind of starts at a low level even though you get her later. Um, that being said, I have caught her up to the rest of my units already. Um, I know Fur is in that fog. Which is why I'm playing this really, really weird. Because I'm trying not to get Roy critical, like with what happened with Rutger. Because the Wow Doe is another high critical sword, like the Killing Edge. Um, support time. Where's the next enemy, Alan? Oh, Sir Marcus. You have been performing well lately. Thank you, sir. However, you need to tend charge. Head f t you tend to charge and head first into enemy lines. S sorry, I'm stuttering, getting jumbled words. I'm old. Your duty is to protect Lord Roy. You must think more. Unlike me, think more. What's there to think about? Defeating the enemy protects Lord Roy. And whatever the enemy made it past you, and Lord Roy was hurt, you wouldn't be able to make it back to save him. That's never happened. But you cannot possibly deny possibility that it is a possibility. What? It is a possibility. What must I do? Take your time. <clears throat> take take your time in, in battle. Take possibly. my time? Taking possibly. time is so overrated. Oh, whoa, that kills barely, but it kills. Well, Lena going in for the kill. She is level 10. She is a higher level than Roy. Oh. That's not true. She's a high level. Um, what I want to do is I just want to put him with a lance in the bush. Because it means he hopefully won't get attacked. If he gets attacked, I'll just use Noah long term instead. Yeah, I didn't want to waste another torch use. So she's right in there, I guess. 
At least I think she is. Oh, goodness. I don't even know anymore. The game's making me self-conscious. This map does have a lot of reinforcements, which makes it really good for training up your weaker units. Uh, plus, there's an armory and shop, which is also great for getting new tools. Oh, uh, there's Fur! Found her! It's like a game of Where's Waldo, except Where's Fur? There's Fur! Where is she? Her. Oh. As you can see, she's not necessarily the strongest. Um, because she's yet another level one growth unit that we get this far into the game. And we already have Mr. Rutger, who is already better in every way. Okay, actually, they're... Oh, wait, for some reason, I thought strength was equal, and I was about to be like... I want Roy to get this kill. I do want to get Roy to level 20, just so that when he promotes, he's almost useful. The earlier I get him to level 20, the better, though, because he's, again, not good. This is Alan, right? Yeah. Put Alan there. The choke hold the bridge. And then put Noah up here. The choke hold this bridge. I can't remember who voiced Noah, so I will. Fur, it is you. Sir Noah, what are you doing here? I joined this army back in Ossia. Whoa. What are you doing? Seize your sword. Sir Noah, I like the noble man I thought you were. What? I know you're a mercenary, but lending your services to pirates? You should be ashamed. What? Don't act like you don't know. You're working with pirates to attack the people living here. Gosh, I feel like Minnie Mouse. <laughs> and you call yourself a knight? Hold on, I think there's been some kind of uh, misunderstanding. Misunderstanding? You still have the nerve. We're trying to help the villagers. Our goal is to defeat the head of the pirate group here. His name is uh, Scott, I think. What? Scott is the head of the pirates? Sure is. If you don't believe me, why don't you ask the pirate over there? The one behind you, hiding in the bushes. Pirate? What pirate? The pirate failed! I gotta go tell the boss! Hey! Come back here! You didn't suspect them at all? No, God was very kind to me. Really? I remember saying that he's a brute of a man. Your mother always said that you shouldn't judge a person by their look. And now your mother's dead. <laughs> I was fighting for pirates this whole time. What should I do now? Stop being stupid. <laughs> really? Can I? We're always looking for people to make no longer stupid. I'll try the Roy for you. Thank you. Now don't be stupid anymore, please. <laughs> and uh, give your sword to Rutger because you are, are not important. You may be on the thumbnail of this video, but doesn't make you actually important beyond the thumbnail. You're just good for the algorithm being on the thumbnail. Don't think anything more by it. Yeah, just like with what I did in Gage, I'm just trying to run through of all the Fire Emblem protagonists that don't have dead parents. I mean, Lucina's a complicated one because her father is Krom, and Krom's the main character of Awakening, but she also comes from a different timeline where Krom is dead, so technically she does have a dead dad, even if her dead dad is the main character of the game. And is not dead. Um, it's complicated there. Uh, but besides that, it's pretty simple. Fire them, them dad, equal dead person. That's simple. If you've ever, wa if you're wondering whether you're or not you're a fire emblem dad, all you need to do is look at yourself, take your pulse. If you have a pulse, you're not a fire emblem dad. Sorry. Because the most important, the most important criteria to being a fire emblem dad is dying. Just, Does that mean that Elwood is not a dad? I guess not. No, I guess, I, I guess not. Yeah, no, because he's alive. Or he's just a bad dad. No, he's not even a bad dad, apparently. <laughs> Dog.
Dong. Yahoo! Oh yeah, I'm I'm just I don't I I I think I remember saying this with Engage, but I don't think Three Houses makes it clear whether or not Claude's dad is alive. No, yeah, no, Claude's dad is alive. He just has no real relevance to the story. His stepdad or whatever is the one I mean. His his Fodlin dad, I don't think it ever really explicitly says whether that that man's alive or, or not. So I don't know whether or not he has whether or not he's a proper Fire Emblem protagonist. See, it's less that Ella Wood's not a proper dad, it's that Roy's not a proper protagonist, technically. Um He's a failure. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, it really is just Roy possibly Claude. Edelgard's kind of another thing where I'm technically her dad dies over the course of the story, but he's again not very important other than the fact that he's old and decrepit. That's really the only important thing about Father Bresfeld is that he kind of is bad at life because he's dying. And if you're dying, you're bad at life. That's really the only thing he does. <clears throat> Not here. I've come so far. And so have I. I've also come far. I was good. I was so close to making that dirty joke, but I... I've decided to resist the urge. <laughs> oh, no, no. Don't do the sus. That's just going to make me hard. It harder. It harder to resist the joke. That's what I meant to say. Um, so they haven't started. See, I want to hold off because I know reinforcements come from there. And this game has same turn reinforcements. This game has STRs. You've heard of STDs. Well, I'm here to introduce to you STRs. Same turn reinforcements. They've killed me once, I'm not going to let them kill me again. Okay, I kind of want to kill this guy now. Because he's going to be a pain otherwise. Use Rutger instead. Ah, he hit! No! That's not really a good level up. Rutger is better in hard mode because enemies in this, there's a thing called hard mode bonuses in this game that are an unintentional side effect because in hard mode, one of the things that makes it harder is the fact they inflate stats. But a little oversight, when they were making hard mode, all the recruitable units, they got the stat buff too, which makes them extremely good. Well, that's good. But I'm not playing hard mode. So Riker and Milady are both much better in hard mode than they are regular mode. They're not bad in regular mode. They're really not. They're still fantastic units. But they're not the same level of good. I would like it if those reinforcements started. Which do you prefer, regular mode or hard mode? I've actually never beaten hard mode in this game because I... It's not until more recently that I've truly started loving this game. Um, originally I was thinking of doing it for this playthrough, but I'm actually recording this playthrough way earlier than I was originally thinking of doing. Um, which means I didn't really have the time to practice hard mode, so I was like, okay, I'm not doing hard mode, not doing hard mode. Um, okay, I'm gonna give him an entourage of promoted units, but I want to send Roy down to the south. Oh my god! <laughs> Don't chuckle! <laughs> okay, I just want the reinforcement start. Maybe I have to have a unit placed on the bridge. Don't die. Don't die. Kill him! 
But yeah, pretty much there's no Fire Emblem patches. What I want is I want a new Fire Emblem game where you play as the son, and then instead of the father dying, the son dies. But you're playing as the son. So the first part of the game, you're playing as the son, and then he dies, and then for the rest of the game, you're playing as the vengeful father. That's what I want. Because I think that has so many cool possibilities for a story. Oh, if I don't hurry, that village is probably going to be destroyed. So let's actually hurry down. Who's your favorite boss in this game? I mean, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter in this game. Bosses don't matter in this game because they're just like an enemy on the throne. So none of them. None of them. Because thrones are annoying in this game. <laughs> Um, axe ones are my favorite because they, because axe ones, axes are heavier weapons, so they're going to have lower avoid. Naturally. So. That's always nice, but that's really all I can say on the matter. There's the reinforcements! Ah, uh, yes, of course, they are going to destroy the village. Ooh, really? They attacked Marcus. Except for that one that did a lot of damage to Roy. Roy's only our boy when he isn't dying. Which is, like, never. I mean, you're the one who said it, not me. <laughs> Roy, you don't kill. Uh, who do I want to get this XP? I think I want it to be Rutger. Yeah, because I want him to be able to do more damage. That's a lot of damage. And Noah missed. So now I actually have to use you. Hey, you hit a really low hit chance. That was epic gamer. You're really liking that duck right now. Yeah. <laughs> what the duck? <laughs> Let's heal Roy so that he doesn't instantly just get murked. There we go, there we go, there we go. All across the board. Boom. Oh, come on. I was worried about that. I can't remember. I hope poison can't kill you in this game. Ah! You don't kill! Okay, now you will. Well, there we go. I mean, not yet. There. That'll help keep things safe. Maybe Lelina can get this kill? Yeah, actually she can. If she hits. Oh, yeah, she'll hit. I love how I'm treating a 93 like a guaranteed hit. It's almost like I don't know what game I'm playing. This whole area is basically pirate territory. They take everything from us. Resist, you say. It's of no use. They can do whatever they want because of their numbers. We can't fight against them like the resistance force. Silver Sword, Gamer, Pog. Then I'll put Roy there with his almost broken sword in a vulnery. Gamer. As you see, Marcus is starting to fall off a little bit. 
I only say a little bit because I know for a fact he's still very good. Roy's our almost boy. There we go. That's good. That's what makes Rutger so epic gamer. I just wish he'd get a little bit more strength. I think I'm gonna send Marcus up north to help deal with the north. That's also what I wanted. I wanted them to attack Merlinus. Because Merlinus can die and come back infinitely. His death is not important. Okay, it's kind of less that I'm gonna I'm gonna send um Marcus to the north to help with the fight, and more uh, I'm gonna send Marcus to the north to help with the fight because otherwise he may die. <laughs> that kind of put a damper on things, me think. <laughs> Yeah, the enemy's not gonna hit you. Yeah. I kinda want Roy to get another kill because, like, Roy's gonna be, like, useless. Pretty soon. His usefulness is coming to an end. What's gonna happen? He just doesn't get a promote until chapter after chapter 20. And in huh. a game like this, that's that's utility suicide. That makes you not very useful because it means you're gonna stay at a stagnant level for the majority of the game. Well, that's a lot of pirates. Maybe I should send them back up north to help deal with it. <laughs> I was gonna have them directly, like, go to the boss or whatever. But, I guess not. Um, I would do those two support now, but I want James to be able to read for Lolina again, so I'm not going to. Forget what the voice for Lolina was. I can't remember either, but it was James that voiced her. So. Mm. That's his problem, not mine. <laughs> yeah, see, this map's great for actually getting people leveled up. Heal Merlinus. Yeah, there we go. That's possibly really bad. Now the pirates can go through. See, I'm not adding Merlinus to the death counter because he actually doesn't... He doesn't die in a dying sense. It just... He doesn't come back till next chapter. The other people can die. And might die. He has too much lore to die. The real question is, can I actually send him the convoy when he's dead? I hope the answer is not a no, because that would kind of stink. I'm going to have Noah hold the north, because I want Rutger to essentially hold where Merlinus was holding. <sighs> I don't know if I'm using Noah long term, but I might as well use them while I have them. I mean, use them while I... something or other, I don't know. Maybe I'll have you do... yeah, with a lance you actually kill, but you also aren't likely to hit, but like... Neither are they, and... ugh. 
Oh, but them hitting that you does a, a lot fight. of damage. Ah! Maybe you can hand axe him to death? No. Maybe you can just fail. Thanks, or whatever. I'm... Who's your favorite enemy in the game? None of them. <laughs> They're all just enemies. It's really all that any of them are. Okay, keep Lolina safe down here, because Lolina is magic, which means I mean, she's she's a mad she's a glass cannon. So one HP on that goon. What is a glass cannon? What does that mean? They deal a lot of damage, but they can't take a lot of damage. Huh. In other words, you don't want them on the front lines because they're going to die if you put them on the front lines. So what am I doing? Putting her on the front lines. True. As if that was ever a question of what I was going to do. Some of them moved down in the south and I don't like that. Boom, kill him. Yes, you kill. And he probably can't hit you. I mean, he can hit you, but he's not going to. Heal up a bit, yep. I'm assuming, yeah. He does have a hand axe, but you're going to hit him and kill him. So it doesn't matter. Magic. That's good because that gives him eight, yeah, it gives her HP. There, that means the pirate's going to actually have to step on land to hit. Which is what I want. Um, okay, this, this is actually taking longer than I thought it would. So what's the thing that happened when you were at work today? Oh yeah, so somehow my keys went missing. Huh. Now it's not my fault, I didn't take them home. And I put them where I normally do, but the problem is my keys are missing. And I'm one of the few people, I'm the only like non-manager that has a light key for the actual individual like theaters to turn on the lights. Now obviously we have other light keys, but we don't have a ton of light keys. So one of those going missing is a problem. So uh. I'd like my keys to be found soon. Ward may die. Huh. He truly is warding off the threat. <laughs> this is where you laugh. <laughs> How many people here are women and children? All the workers have been taken north to the mines. They aren't even allowed to rest. They're forced to work until they die. My brother escaped, but he was reduced to skin and bone. The day he came back, he was already too weak, and he drew his last breath. Now that I've told you this, can, can, can you... Sorry, I've said too much. Please forget all this. We'll leave the aisles now. Damn. Kind of all just a little depressing. I mean, not a little depressing. It is depressing. We get to learn all about Aturia on the next couple of arc. The, ne the rest of this arc. Because Aturia never really mattered in FE7. Uh, he never went there. Did we, we already go to Aturia? We're there now. Oh. Yeah, you never really go to Etruria in FE7. The extent of Etruria's influence in FE7 is quite literally, um... Two recruitable units who are, uh... Actually, uh... The parents of Clarine and her brother. That's really the extent of its usefulness. They're the... the, the, the of, uh, Etruria's... Ness in uh, FE7. 
Because, like, Heavy 7 is a prequel, but it doesn't necessarily fit cleanly into a lot of this game's lore. But it's also this game's lore, so there's not a lot of lore to begin with, real. Okay. Yikes. Okay, let's kill that mage, because he's kind of a threat. You don't double, huh? Why do you double, Marcus? I didn't want you to double. Yeah, you go, Roy. Roy's our boy. Yeah, I'm definitely in a situation right now. Yeah, I know, YouTube. I said the thing. I said the Smash Bros thing. Mm -hmm. I said it. Roy's our boy. I said it. Happy? Stop wetting oh, yourself and start paying attention again. Thank you. Who's the character in Smash from this game? Roy. Huh. That's why Roy's our boy. When did you find out about this game? I don't know, it's just one of the Fire Emblem games, so I started playing Fire Emblem. Yeah, um, I wish I wasn't, like, out of Iron Swords. <laughs> the swords Let's are a little one... useful. Let's get one stick and two iron ingots. Oh my... <laughs> Guys, th that's the end of the channel. Seth, Seth, <laughs> Seth said a funny. It's so funny. <laughs> See, it's funny because Minecraft. Or you could, like, is it only gold that you can upgrade to netherite? Yeah. Uh. There, I just bought some iron swords. Some good old F.E. Because the elemental symbol of, 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 of iron is F.E. F.E. Fire Emblem. There, now I said another funny thing, YouTube. This is the funny episode. I know, right? This is the funny one. Oh, is the, are the reinforcements over? After, like, forever of reinforcing? Let's get Roy more kills, because this is like... Roy's almost done being useful, YouTube. I want to let him get things while he still can. Oh, are they... Ex are they HP grinding crap? Oh, these weaklings. Kill them. Kill them. Kill them where they live. There. Now it's time to start going to the boss. Oh, he's a berserker! That's not a berserker, that's a warrior! Right? Oh, he is a berserker. That is what berserkers look like in this game. I was right originally, YouTube. Ignore my correction, because it was not correct. The correction was, in fact, incorrect. Insert applause. Insert applause! <laughs> thank you, thank you. I had to find it for a second. See, like, Lelina's pretty much caught up with all my other units now, level-wise. Like, what level are these enemies? About level 12. Yeah, so she's in a good place. Uh, that guy's a berserker. What does he have? Hand axe. Okay. He's not gonna move. 42 Asian Killer Axe! Oh my... Mm. Mm. Killer Axe! That makes him hard. And not in a good way. Man, I love, I love Discord soundboard. It lets me say so many sus things and then actually get the sus sound effect to play over it. Like, it's brilliant. 
That's not sus, that's X-Files. Get a ride. What do I pay you for anyways? I don't pay you. Don't answer that question. I don't pay you, so don't say that I pay you for something, because I don't pay you. <laughs> what do I not pay you for? I haven't done a thumbnail image yet. It's just gonna be me shrugging. I'm gonna do that now. <laughs> there. Confused Alex is the thumbnail. <laughs> like, confused Alex is... It's, it's normal Alex. I'm always confused. Oh, there's another? Another one of those, those fellas? I don't know if I bought enough iron swords. I'll, I guess I'll find out. Um, I think I know what I'm gonna do, YouTube. What I'm do gonna do is, um, I wanna do, I don't wanna do all the story for the next chapter of this video. So what I'm gonna do is I'll just do a save state. Uh, then I'll like, I'll just bypass the story, then do a save state. Um, of all the uh, inventory stuff being done. And then the start of the video will just go to the actual save. I think that's what I'm gonna do. So I can still do item management, but I so I can still end when I want to end. I think that's the way that's the way to do it! Casual Doctor Who reference? Check. This episode is officially a success. Sure, I'll accept it. There, and now I can get a level up for both of these fools and one enemy. Both the level 15. Oh, both the level 15. Ooh. I might promote him. Ooh, yeah, you're close to promotion too. Well. See, what I think I want to do is I want to try to get her to hit, and then I can rescue drop her out of danger. Oh, but I want you to do damage. It has to be fire. That's the only thing that actually hits. Maybe the fog didn't stop you. But you must be in rough shape at least. I'll finish you off. That hit. That hit. And then what do you do to him? Oh, jeez. You do die to a critical. You do die to a critical. I know what I want to do. I, I know how I want to fight this guy. I know how I want to fight him. Yeah. I'm going to fight him the coward's way. I want to buy... Eh, I guess I can buy iron swords at the base. It's the other stuff I really can. The egg may also be useful just due to... Hero. Oh, there's more axe bros. I'll put Roy down there. Not like that guy has like a killer axe. Yeah, he doesn't have a killer axe. What's the crickets for? What's the crickets for? I didn't do anything cricket worthy that time. So how low is her luck? It's not terrible. It could be better though. What's that? Yeah, not terrible. Again, not terrible, but not what I want it to be. And <sighs> see, Rutger dies in one critical, which is 60% chance of happening. So like, again, maybe I put him there and try to bait a hand axe out of him. Especially now that Lelina just got a crit. I've got a level up. So I don't really have any need Just one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's it for now. There'll be more stores. What's your favorite soundtrack in the game? In this game? Um, the late game map theme that plays from chapters 21 to 23, uh, Beneath a New Light. That's, that's oh. easy, that's easy. That's one of my favorite map themes in the franchise. That, that, that's the easiest question you've asked about this game all video. Uh, uh. Oh my gosh, he has a 28% need of critical. 
Oh, I screwed myself over by doing that. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. What's your full HP? 30? You die to a critical. How much damage? What, 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 what does that look like? Even right now, you don't get hit. You don't, a critical doesn't kill you. So I'll do that. Because no matter what, you cannot die. He did get critical. He did, in fact... Is it worth this risk? No, no, it isn't. It's not worth the risk. Rutger, what do you do now? You need at least one critical to kill you, kill him, and you die to a critical. You die to a critical, and you're fully healed. White brand? Dick, how do you do? You and your mighty fine. You and your mighty fine. Dick. Um, I'm in. This is a peculiar spot that I find my myself in. Yeah. Hmm. This is peculiar and bad. Do you die to a crit? No, you don't. To the hand axe. You don't die to a critical to the hand axe. He missed. Why are you cricketing? Because he missed. Yeah, the boss missed. Oh, well still. So is that really your best hit rate? Yeah. And do you really die to a crit? Yeah. I can't get convoy. I can't access the convoy. Um. First of all, let's heal Zealot. 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 Whatever his name is. Because he's like, could actually do stuff. Um, then let's do that again. Cool. But is that enough to avoid how much he heals? So he was at 14, now he's at 18. I cannot let Zealot die. That's the problem. I actually cannot let him die, especially since I'm going the Ilya route. Because then I wouldn't be able to access the uh, thing. I want to end this map. Okay, good at hit. Who are you? You're no ordinary army. You're right. I'm one that was really scared to fight you. <laughs>
But we won. Yeah. Oh. Whew. Merlinus. It appeared the enemy was trying to ambush us. They missed a noun. We were coming. I think there's more to this than we realize. You're right. Clearing out the bandits may be more difficult than expected. Ever since Burns' aggressive behavior started, Elib has changed. I don't even know what to expect. Dragons appearing, Burns' sudden invasion, the collapse of the Lycian League. Everything happened so suddenly. In the end, I suppose all we can do... In the end, I suppose... The true Fire Emblem was the friends we made along the way. I suppose all we can do is take it one problem at a time. Whoo, boy. <laughs> now, where do we go from here? Let's move north along the coast. North? Towards the mines? Yes. I hear the people living on the islands are being forced into slave labor there. So, you think we should rescue them? If we do, we might be able to find out who's behind all of this. Well, we must start somewhere. Let's not waste time, let's head north. Well, that, that's it, YouTube. Um, yeah. It was pretty gamer. <laughs> yeah! I didn't kill anyone! Oh. Hold the applause. I'm supposed to add recruitable characters that I don't recruit to the death counter. <laughs> I believe that's the most accurate look. I'll just use the localization that was in this game. I'll just do it like that. Even though I think it has an H in the current thing. So technically I did technically I did avoid killing someone this video. But but that. Anyways, oh YouTube, this is it for this video. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.